this is the real Tom Rose, and they're asking us to write this expression without any negative exponents. So what trick can you use to get rid of negative exponents? Well, one thing you can use is, uh, you know, a, a negative exponent is always the equivalent of that same exponent made positive, but as a fraction. So x to the negative 1 is the same as 1 over x to the 1. So let's, uh, let's use that trick twice. Um, we'll say the inside of this becomes x plus um, 1 over y instead of y to the negative 1. And instead of all of that to the negative 1, let's put all of that to the first power, but as a fraction. So there you go. That's your answer. Unfortunately, it doesn't match um, any of the answer choices. So we need to keep going a little bit. Um, one of the things that I notice is there's no, um, there's no fraction there's no double decker fraction. So we, this, what we have is a fraction in a fraction. None of the answer choices have that. So let's try to get rid of it. Um, if you want to get rid of that, um, one obvious next step that you can do is you can say, well, let's, uh, let's find the common denominator in the denominator. So let's make this, let's multiply by y over y. So that what we'll end up with is one over um, xy over y plus one over y which will be equal to 1 over xy plus 1 over y. Now you can use the trick of, hey, we have a fraction denominator. You can always flip. You have to memorize this. If you have a fraction denominator, you can always flip the numerator and denominator and multiply by the numerator. So you'll end up with 1 times, and then this fraction flipped upside down. So you'll have y over um, xy plus 1. So that equals y over xy plus 1 which is this answer choice right here. Now, if this step right here that I were going from that one to that one confused you, it's just because I have something memorized that you don't, right? I just took the denominator, I took the fraction of the denominator, flipped it upside down, multiplied it by the numerator. You can, you can uh, do the proof if you want of that, but I don't recommend it. I recommend that you just memorize that that's a thing in algebra that you can do. It tends to come up a lot on the ACT. So just put that in your bank and be ready to whip that out whenever you need it.